if you say all these structures that have to be uh, 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 linked or paid with future revenue, you are saying that the opportunity that our nations, our people have to reduce inequality, to improve their life, is just vanished. You know, because you are telling me the opportunity that in one day in the future we will get the real money to change our future, our presence, to change our inequalities. We can't do that because that money has to pay debts. You know, so this is very strong. You know, at the end of the day, it's very strong. It means that you have an illiteracy in this country, you have a, a more than 50% uh, poverty. You don't have a, you have a problem of market links. You know people produce doesn't know how to export. You have a, a, a high mortality child mortality rate, high um, the, the illiteracy. You know problem with sanitation. People are still dying here for diarrhea, for respiratory diseases, for malaria, which are preventive diseases and things. So you are saying the opportunity that we will get money to do that, we can't do it. Because we have to pay the banks. So it's incredible. And I see people talking about it like normal. It's not normal. Because the, the, any opportunity we have in the future just vanish. So it means we need to find a new Mozambique and maybe in, in 100 years, which will be a new gold. Then on 100 years, we will have opportunity to see. We can. It's incredible. Because only in, we are saying that in, in 20... And, um, 2026, we will start with, uh, with uh, revenues, and in 2026, we have to pay the debts. That's it, nothing more. So, the hard money you expect, I don't know, $500 million per year uh, for taxes or billion dollars will go just to, to pay these debts. And it means if I say, in 10 years time, I would like to eradicate malaria. In 10 years time, I would like to eradicate um, uh, uh, respiratory diseases. In 10 years time, I would like to make sure that every kid in this country have a seat in the chair in school. In 10 years time, I want to reduce the malnutrition from 40% in this country to 10%. I can't say, I can't say that because I can't forecast the future because I can't forecast the resources. First of all, most of the salary uh, were, ba were dependent on the, um, on the donors' money. And also most of the investments, we could say, on infrastructure, on medicine, and uh, on training, for example, new doctors, were relied a lot on the, the donors' uh, money. So the, the impact was very huge. The example. You, 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 have, um, you need to do outreach, example, for vaccination. You know, people live in different villages. You need to ambulance and uh, have team to go out to do uh, to outreach um, uh, services, campaigns for vaccination, for providing stuff. They can't do it. If they used to do every month, now we do one a year. Example also... They, they, they need to do supervision to improve quality of the services. So you have to go and supervise and look on, on going uh, training. They used to do three times a year. Now they, don't, they do every two years. So this, this is a huge impact because it means you have a people who are not supervised. They're not getting that much attention technically to improve the way how they provide the services. You have a people who... Who are not, they're not able to reach facilities because of many reasons, distance, which is one of the barriers, you know, you can't reach them because uh, the car is no, uh, no petrol available. Example, uh, petrol for, for ambulance, you know, you, you, you um, do a commitment example for, I could say, $3,000 and this is just received, example, $300. So this, it, it's a, it, you can't see because the salaries are there, but what makes this, this, the system work, like petrol for, 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 for ambulance, uh, money to pay electricity for the hospitals. In the last five years, there were a lot of hospitals which the electricity was cut off because of lack of payment. You know? So at the end of the day, 
you know, the same as you said, you, you say here, that in Mozambique, you know, a lot of money comes from criminal activities, you know, uh, drugs, money laundering, you know, it's a criminal activity. So you make sure that you don't get money from that to finance the public good. So it's the same, you know, these guys are paying taxes for you, for their government, but the, their activity is not uh, ethical approved, you know, so it's also a problem of how you stand to ethical issues, you know, just because he's, he, he get, he, he, he's, he's registered and he, he can pay taxes, it's enough, no. I think it's also about what is the ethic of that, and, you know, where the money come from, what kind of ethical activities, from the end of the day, he's, he's part of your society, he's paying taxes, he, he's protected by your government, you know, because he's a Swiss, he's a, he's a Swiss citizen, they, they, they belong to Swiss regulations, you know, so you can't uh, even that say, I know, I know people say, this is different between Swiss government and, uh, and uh, the bank, okay. In the end of the day, if you're clever enough, you say, oh, these guys are paying taxes, yes, they're registered, yes. Who is a regulator? Is a private regulator? No, it's a state regulator. Then you have to do something. For you, as a part of this world, as a, somebody who wants to be seen as a um, human, which also want to see the world become a better place, I think you need to feel yourself part of it. And, and that's for me, is big disappointed. Not a, 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 like a kind of Swiss, no, it's a Swiss, Swiss society, you know, why you want to be seen as a people just, people can just go to your country and, and keep the money when they, it's corrupted money. So it's something which I think Swiss society have to, you know, have to start thinking about that. Why I want to be perceived in the world as a, uh, as the person who hide uh, corrupted money, you know, for what? And then every day you see the newspaper dying, there's no road, you know. You walk here, you see what's going on. You know, you see people not work, no jobs. Uh, everybody's at work. The hospital doesn't, doesn't work properly. You know, you can see no public transports. People are going like cows in the car. You know, this is the result of corruption and bad governance. Because bad governance is connected to corruption. And, and you can't say I'm not part of that. It, yeah, it is dangerous. You know, it is dangerous. It's not easy to speak what you... What you what you, you think huh, in Mozambique, huh? it's not easy. We have a lot of colleagues which, uh, you know, they lose jobs, they don't, you know, they, they go after you, not directly, but indirectly, through your brothers, through your family, through your land, license for land, license for building a house. You know, they go after you.